Sounds, sounds all right, as long as you don't come in front of the camera. Uh, yes, thank you. Is there any reason why they can't come in now? No. Only, only the cameraman there is blocking the entrance. Yeah, just keep them out for a minute longer. Ready when you are, Mr. DeMille. After successfully running the shoebox scheme within the club last autumn, the International Committee recruited John Wright, Peter Long and Sue Kirk to join us and form the Shoebox Committee. Our aim? To take the scheme into Boston schools. One of the first jobs was to formulate invitation brochures and John Wright contacted the first schools on our hit list. Success! This man has done snow to Eskimos. The first seven signed up and they wanted in excess of a thousand boxes so we thought no more. We can't take any more this year. The first phase is on its way. Much more work has followed. Those four meetings I said would sort it out. I was wrong. We've had a lot of support from a lot of people. Richard Print have been wonderful. They have done printing, they have blown up photographs, they have done more than we could possibly ask for, all out of the goodness of their hearts. We've had an artist on board, Peter Cook, who's done various bits of artwork for us, and Aldridge and Norprint have made donations. Every little helps. This evening is the first dress rehearsal of the presentation that we will give to the primary schools in September. I want you this evening to all be primary school pupils. I want you to cast your mind back to those days when you were in short trousers and gym slips. And I want you to behave. <laughs> now children, just a moment. I think I can see your headmaster approaching. Could we all be quiet, please? Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Good morning. Emma, stop fussing, please. Place this <laughs> Today is a very special occasion. Not only is it our first assembly of the uh, autumn term and new year, but it brings with us a time when we come together collectively after a six weeks holiday. Shame. No, shame. No, 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 shame. Uh, just talking to us. It brings us together at a time when we're celebrating a long rest, a very special occasion, but even more so because we have two guests joining us on this day, this morning. Guests from a very special organization. Shame, I have told you. Face the spot. No, no. Sorry, I do uh, Two very special guests from Rotary International. In fact, from the Rotary Club of, of Boston, uh, St. Botolf, who are coming today, this morning, to share with us <coughs> and to tell you about a very exciting project. A project about shoe boxes. No, dear, put, put your shoes back on, dear. Yes, 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 yes. Shoe boxes. We all know what goes in shoe boxes, don't we? Yes, yes. 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 shoes. 
But I think this morning you'll find out that we're not quite right on that, are we? No. No, that's right. So I want you please to give a very warm welcome to our two very special guests, Sue Kurt and Steve Burke. Welcome to Stan Iron School. Sue Kirk. Now, I know all of you, and I hope you go to all behave, because we've got a lot of surprises for you tonight. And first of all, I want you to tell me what you think this is. It's <laughs> not my backside. <laughs> now then, Carol, can you tell me what this is? I think it's a shoe box. Miss. Miss. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and what do we normally have in the shoebox? Special needs? I'm not very Special needs? <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be a shoe. Shoes. Yeah. Shall we? Would you like to open the box? It's not a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> not a joke. <laughs> Shoes! Shoes! <laughs> oh my goodness, that's what we normally have in a shoe box, isn't it, children? Yes! yes. yes. Thank you! Come on, get with it! <laughs> Wake up! Right. Well, we don't want the shoes, so we're going to bin them. One good pair of shoes, bin. So we'll put the box away for the moment. <laughs> my mum. Please, miss. You don't wear them for my mum, have you? No, she can't. <laughs> Cost me a lot We of got them from your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bam, I don't want to have you move that child. <laughs> I'm hoping now that you'll be able to tell me. Yeah, my projector to work. There we are. There's, there's the shoe box. A special box. And we're going to tell you about the shoe box and what's in it in a little while. First of all, I wonder if any of you can tell me who these people are and where they come from. These people live in Romania. It's a country that's a long way away from Boston. These people are poor. They're hungry. <laughs> And they're cold. Oh my God! The Rotary Club of Boston. <laughs> These people are, in fact, prospective members for the Rotary Club of Boston. <laughs> what we need to do is to find out what the link is. Now, can you tell me? Let me think. Now, then, Graham, what do you think the link is between this box? And that picture that you saw. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You anyone, anyone else? <laughs> Terry. <laughs> Terry. You've got any shoes? Sorry, darling. You've got any shoes? Oh, I haven't got any shoes. <laughs> Absolutely right. They have not got any shoes. <laughs> oh, 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 the answer then to this, <laughs> this question, this question that has been puzzling you for so long. The answer is that the people are poor, they're cold, they're hungry. That's what I meant to say. They might have, that's what you were going to say, wasn't it? That's what you were going to say. That they were poor and cold. And many of them are children just like this. Those people. The shoebox can help them because. We can fill the shoebox with all sorts of things. We can fill them with the sorts of things that you have at home, and then we can send the box to the children, and you'll be able to send your things to children in Romania and help them. We'll tell you about these things later on. But this is a typical box that you'll see. There's a box full of the sorts of things that you can send to Romania. Now these people, they live a long way from Boston, <laughs> a very, very long way from Boston. In fact, 1,360 miles to Romania and the little town of Yash. 
And now, 1,360 miles. Have you any idea, David, how far that is? Yes. <laughs> right, it's about six times going to London and back. So it's a lot of miles, isn't it? Is it as far as? Would you like to go to Yash? No. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are then, boys and girls. There's a map of Europe. There's England up there. This is where Pat lives, just down here. No, no, a bit further north. A bit further north, sorry. I bet he's the one in the Armour Road. He's the one in the Armour Road at the moment, isn't he? There's England. And more specifically, there's Boston. Right over the other side of Europe is Romania. Stuck up in the top right hand corner of Romania is the town of Yash, which is where we're going to send the shoe boxes to. How do we get the boxes across to Yash? We do that by driving from Boston to Yash. We do that in a big lorry, a big yellow lorry. The journey, as Susan told you, is 1,360 miles. It takes about six days. That's nearly a whole week it takes to get to Romania. And this is the journey that we need to make in order to get to Romania. Again, there's England. The United Kingdom. <coughs> and here is one get lined up for work it. There's Romania. There's Boston. Mm -hmm. There's the ash again that we're going to go to. And we start off from Boston and we travel first to this country. And who can tell me what this country is, please? Belgium. Tell me what this country is? Belgium. Thank you very much. That's very good. What well done, do? Victor. What are, you doing in, what are you doing in primary school? <laughs> <laughs> then we travel on to this country. Who can tell me what this country is, please? Hands up. Don't shout. Hands up. Which country is this? No, it's Italy. Come along. <laughs> this country is France. The route then carries on. We move into Germany. There's the flag of Germany, and then we move oh, on yeah, to yeah. Shop. <laughs> <laughs> into Austria, into Hungary, and finally we move into Romania, where we're able to deliver the boxes. So that's the route that the lorry has to take, and it takes six days in order to get right the way across Europe with customs, and as you get further into Eastern Europe, the transportation problems. Now I would use driving instead of transportation when I'm talking to young children. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh. How are we going to use the box? You've seen all the nice things that these people need. Remember that they are very hungry, very cold, very poorly clad, and they need our help. Now, I've got something in my bag, which, um, <laughs> A bit difficult. That should shift them. <laughs> <laughs> but, the trouble oh, is, oh, how do we know? I, oh, I don't know. How do we know what we can this. put I mean, in the box? I know. It's stuffed into We need some help. We, we, we definitely need some help. need some help. We need the shoe, shoe box, box kit. kit. The shoe box That's kit. Can anybody see? The, the shoe, shoe box, box kid. Where's the shoe box kid? Where's the shoe box kid? Where's the shoe box kid? Here's the shoe box kid. Oh, come on. Welcome to shoe box kid. Nice big round of applause for the shoe box kid. There's the shoe box kid. And the shoe box kid will help us decide what we're going to put in the shoe box. And we'll decide that we'll either put them in the shoebox or we'll put them in the bin. 
So let's have a look at the sorts of things we can put in. <laughs> a packet of cereal. Yes. Is a packet of cereal a good thing to put in the shoebox? No. Not a big one. But a little one, that's great for the shoebox. What about a tin of baked beans? <gasps> beans, yeah. beans, hi. Is that beans, good for the shoebox? Yeah. That's yeah. good for the shoebox. <laughs> what about a plastic jar of peanut butter? Plastic jars of peanut butter, not glass jars, because you know you're not allowed to bring glass to school. Just, oh, oh. Um, did you know that? Plastic jars. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that? That's very weird. <laughs> what about a little teddy bear? Oh. Do we want to put a teddy bear in the box? Oh. The toys? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, put a little, we'll put a baby teddy bear in the box. <laughs> what about a banana? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with bananas? The bananas we can't put in the box because they go bad. So we don't put fresh fruit, we put them in the bin. <laughs> bandages. We can put bandages. First aid plasters. We can put them in. We so can find them, we can. We put those in, we can put those in. What about apples? Fresh fruit. More fresh fruit, apples, you know, fresh fruit. Dr. Rance, no. Dr. Rance, an apple a day. <laughs> Not a rotten apple a day. But we can't put them in because they go bad. So, no to the apples. What about butter? We haven't got a prop for butter. She forgot it, I knew she'd forgotten it. <laughs> but we can put butter in if it comes in the plastic containers. Not if it's in a paper container. So you can put butter in. You can put butter in. Toothbrush. Toothbrush is a good idea. We can put toothbrush in. There's a toothbrush. A new one. An old one. A new one. A new toothbrush. That's what Dorian complained about. That's why there's no toothbrush. Well, that's why I haven't got a toothbrush at the moment. That was the one that got put in. A comb, that's always a useful thing. A comb will go in the shoebox. A new comb. No passengers. Shoebox kid working hard. A bag of chips. We put a bag of chips in? No, we don't put a bag of chips in. We don't want chips. What about jam? Jam's a nice idea. They like jam, but it's glass. And we can't put glass in, so we say no thank you to the jam. Into the bin. <laughs> Crayons and pencils, they can go in. They can go in, we'll put them into the box. So there are all the sorts of things that go into the box. And the lid can go on the box. You didn't pick the boot out. What about the boot? Can the boot go in the box? Janet won't be wearing those shoes again for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much, Shoebox Kid. Thank you. Let's give the Shoebox thank Kid a great big round of applause. <laughs> Let's just check on the items we had in the uh, shoebox. And you can think about the sort of things you can put in the shoebox. Because later on we're going to ask you to bring things from home into school. Things like pencils, crayons, writing paper, the comb, the toothbrush, toothpaste, soap. All sorts of things like that. Small items that will fit into the shoebox. The teddy bear, but also small toys. Lego toys, small pieces like that that will fit into the shoebox. They're the things that you can put and bring with you. The first aid kit, and then food that won't go bad. Food in tins, 
food in plastic containers, that's the sort of thing that we want to go into the shoebox. And then the shoebox will be wrapped up and delivered out to Romania. Now, one of the things that you children can do with your shoebox is you can decorate your shoebox and make it pretty, individual, so that when the children get these shoeboxes, which will be around Christmas time, then they've got a lovely decorated shoebox, and you could put in a letter, a message, and you might even find a new pen pal if you would like to do that and tell them that you would like them to write back to you, and perhaps a photograph of yourself so that they know exactly who it's coming from. So we'd like you to do that to decorate your shoebox. So that's the shoe box, the shoe box full of goodies that we hope you'll be able to fill like the shoe box we've shown you. Your school's got a target that Mr. Long has set of 427 boxes. <laughs> a bit more than the 125 that he said. <laughs> so we want to thank you very much for your help. Filling the shoe boxes is a very important thing that you can do. Your school has been specially chosen. You're one of the first schools in Boston to be able to fill shoe boxes for children in Romania. The target, as we've said, is 427 boxes. It's a lot of boxes. Do you think they can do that, Sue? Well, knowing this a lot. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. we can do it. What do you we think, can do Mr. Long? Do you think you can do it? What do you think, children? Can you fill 427 boxes? Yes! I don't think I heard you. What did you say? Yes! yes. Oh, that was a bit pathetic. <laughs> we know that you can do it. And we hope you will for the children in Romania. Thank you very much for your generosity. And we hope that you enjoy helping the children in Romania and Moldavia. And I'm sure that you will appreciate that they will be sending you cards of thank you. And uh, do give as generously as you can. Thank you very much. On behalf, sorry, uh, go on, Peter, go on. on behalf of all the children of our Stephen School here, I'd like to thank both Sue and Stephen, and indeed the shoebox kid, for a most interesting and informative uh, assembly, a most unusual assembly, so that we'll all rise to the challenge of filling not just 150, not just 200, not just 300, but 425 shoe boxes. A wonderful assembly. Thank you so much indeed. A round of applause for our guests. You can put shoe stick insects in shoe boxes. But they don't travel very well. <laughs> Knit combs are always very useful. <laughs> so having ended our presentation, has anybody got any criticism that they'd like to make of our presentation other than we need to rehearse more? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I think I speak for us all when you say extremely professional mm -hmm. and sure to get an extremely well with the kids. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. We can go home now. Is that the ash eat where they make the ash mat? Yes, that's right, yes. <laughs> they don't need to send them the mat. No, it was the Scots that went out there and started it. They can know because I finished. Did Daddy spell pure on <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any, any questions? You've got questions or comments? We'd appreciate both because it's the first time we've done it to a live audience. I use the word live loosely. It's the first time we've done it to a live audience. <laughs> I knew that there was something.